Hey guys, Jason here. I wanted to give a message to all of you who are out leading worship today and um, throughout the rest of the week uh, because we're all uh, leading worship somewhere in our homes, um, throughout our community, uh, in our own lives. Uh, so I just wanted to um, give you a real quick message today, and, and that's this. I know that we're inundated day in and day out with um, seeing what the other church is doing. And, and I've been a part of churches, small purchase, churches, uh, large um, churches that are uh, thousands upon thousands and churches that are, um, you know, less than a hundred um, in my past. Um, just the other day, a couple of weeks back, I had the privilege of being able to uh, be asked to lead worship as a as a guest worship leader at a church that has on an average less than 50 people in attendance. And let me tell you, it was one of the best worship experiences um, that I've had in, in a while because it was just me and a guitar and a bunch of people that knew that what they were doing was painting a picture of serving God through worship. Not coming there to see some guy from Nashville or um, hearing themselves sing, but to come there to glorify and bring honor to God. So that's really the message that I want to say to you today is this. I mean, if you've ever woken up on a Sunday or uh, watched Instagrams of set list and what somebody's set looks like and thought, man, I'm tired of the same backdrop that I've got. Or, man, I'm tired of, of not having a, an electric guitarist or wondering if my electric guitarist is even going to come in today um, whenever I see a different electric guitarist on stage at this particular church week after week after week after week um, in these Instagrams. Can I just urge you to, to stop trying to um, live up to some other church's expectations? There's nothing wrong with wanting whatever is best that we can offer to our God in heaven. But let me submit to you this. We are all painting the same picture. Some of us just do it within the context of a different frame. Same picture, different frame. You see, no matter what size stage we're on, no matter what size platform we are on, no matter what we call it, we're just all maybe elevated, maybe a little bit higher than the rest of the congregation and turned in a different direction. But you see, we are all part of the same congregation as God's global church celebrating an audience of one. And that's what we're doing no matter what size church we're at. So if you woke up this morning a little disheartened, take heart. And know that what you are doing is every bit as significant. No matter if you're a church of 25 or if you're a church of 25,000. What you are doing is phenomenally important and significant to a creator who created you to worship. Because whenever we woke up this morning, no matter how big our churches were, we were already late for worship because the stars in the universe were already singing God's praises and His glory and His majesty. So, wherever you're at right now, just stop. Give Him glory. Give Him praise and declare His name and say thank you for what you get to do to lead others in worship, to lead your family in worship and say thank you to God for that. Stop trying to keep up with other churches and simply say thank you to God for the fact that we get to do what we do where we're at. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.